The Parrot Anafi is light and compact. The controller turns on and functions easily, but the app takes a bit to get first get started. After having to log in, agree with all the requests, you're now able to fly. For being a small drone, the Anafi flies well, it's pretty stable. It was a decently windy day and you can see from the sways back and forth. But the camera gimbal works well to keep footage very stable. Parrot says that the drone can operate in 30 mile per hour winds. Side to side and back to forth is very responsive. The rotation's a bit slow and I didn't see a way to increase the speed. The camera has a full 180 degree rotation so you can view straight up or straight down, which makes it pretty unique. The control fits in your hand well, and it's more compact than the Phantom controller, but a bit bigger than the Mavic. The app works well. It has a few modes as a sport and manual, which changes the responsiveness of the drone. It can shoot in 1080 up to 60 frames per second when you select slow motion mode. And it can do 4K up to 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second. And it is 4K UHD, not DCI. The battery drained quite a bit. I started it with 70% after about 10 to 15 minutes, I was at 7%. Also, for some reason, it capped my height at 90 feet. When I approached the height, a geofence alert came up on a screen which I found out can be changed, but it's enabled automatically. The camera at times can have a strange bending effect whenever you're tilting up and down, you're usually able to see it when you're really high up. And so it's kind of interesting because it's almost like a fisheye look, but it's not in all shots. The quality of footage is nice though. It's a bit different than the Mavic and Phantom camera, but it has a 2.8 times lossless zoom, which makes it really unique. The footage also has a strange layering effect sometimes. Not sure if you can really see it, but it almost has a 3D feel as you're flying straight across things tend to change the depth. It's somewhat hard to explain, possibly because it's being shot in 4K HDR, not really sure. The gimbal's stable and responsive, but again, you expect a bit better build of the structure. Now, Parrot says that this is a carbon fiber laced frame, or that it's supported by carbon fiber, but the propellers and arms just don't feel durable. At $700, you have many drone options. And yes, this is, this is one of the only ones with a 20 megapixel camera under $1,000. But aside from the still side of the camera, it doesn't have much of an edge on, say, a DJI Mavic. This feels more like a drone that would cost $400 or $500, not $700. Plus, Parrot has no sensors around it, so if you're approaching a building or a tree or anything, it's just going to keep flying. Unlike the DJI products, where most of them all have obstacle sensors now, to keep you from crashing it. Parrot has definitely enhanced their build and they are going in the right direction, but they still have a long way to go before they are really competing with DJI. <laughs>